Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the XDF records for June. It is the gay month, but it's the end of the gay month once I'm recording this, and it is the Tour de France month, so Tour de France rest day today. So time to get in with some world records from the Xenotic side of things that my cables are all messed up. Professional I'm telling you. So the stats this month. It's been a hell of a month. We have at the top with almost half the records to be source 60 records then we've got goblin whoa amino as do bias cool nature i think happy 5e uh, ferrius jh nero to banano amnesia shiro jaska juhu sarpent straight uchi vert for a total of 145 new records set. Over on the stats side of things, Source has gone up, Mac Mac has gone up, trying to cheat the system, um, and Dizzy has gone down at two places, down in third for the first time in a very long time. Cool sticking it out in fourth, and for the most part, we've got Astu moving up into the top 20. Uh, yeah, I think he's been in it before, but up into the top 20 with some incredible records this month. That's on the relaxed running side. Over on the hardcore parkour side, not much change. Banano has moved up into the top 20 with an incredible run that we're going to watch as we start and some other good runs, but mostly just jump three. We're going to start off with that. No movement right at the top of the board. People gaining more points as more people play, it tends to be how it goes. But that's a good thing, there's more points coming into HP maps. And there's your stats for all of everything. 159 videos because of a catch up from last month. 22 unique players, 120 unique maps. And 145 total records set over the month. So... Without further ado, let's head into it. I've not set Firefox to the correct thing. Uh, da, 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 da. There's the IRC chat. Hopefully nobody's said anything dodgy. And there we go. I do like it that it always picks up IRC first because IRC has a hashtag in front of it. So, here we go. Bananos just jump three record to start off. An incredible record. Eight minutes, 15 seconds. This is all of it. So we have seen some records before from Banano, from Amino, from various people, Vert, and a few others on sections of these maps. But this is the full thing. And I know it was one hell of a grind for them just an insane map I mean the last time we saw this full record get taken Amino was doing certain sections backwards because these are incredibly difficult these first sections but they get so easy to someone who's going for a world record and um, messing it up at the end towards the end start just gets so easy you do it again and again and again oh, beautiful there just the right amount of height. It's such a difficult map, this. So many parts to remember as well. It's not just remembering simple things. But to go fast on it, you've got to know exactly what you're doing. You've got to know, do you have to, on some of them, you come out of the teleporter and start the next level. And you've got to give it a bit of a pre-run to get enough speed. But, Banano knows exactly what he's got to put in. Exactly the right amount of work. Beautiful. I mean, this record is so far super clean. We're a quarter of the way through just about now. 
and that's as clean as you like. Super good. There's not much I can say about this really. I, I don't know the map. It's it's an incredibly difficult map. I, I can't stress how difficult this is. You that you just can't see by just looking at it. You know, it really really is just the knowledge of everything and knowing that you've got to do stuff like that remembering you've got to do stuff like that to be able to um to carry on go around the go around the start spawn pad a little bit just madness just absolute madness first fail three minutes in and it's the first fail and it was because sometimes you go through teleporters and you get caught out by the speed that they let you out at. Sometimes they don't, you're supposed to come out with 600 speed and sometimes they just kind of give you a dead stop. Um, and yeah, that's what caused that other one. But just incredible, incredible movement. Banana also moving up places, not in the top 20, but uh, moving up places on the relaxed running re leaderboard this month. Making some movement up there. Super tight leaderboard. Also, hopefully we should have less stutters this month and better quality because I found out that my network adapter that I have in my computer that I bought because my old um, my old network adapter broke that was in my old motherboard, which I replaced in 2017 when I upgraded uh, my computer. But the network adapter uh, was broken. And I don't know how long it's been broken, but it was maxing out at, two, um, at 4 megabytes a second download. I had higher upload at 5 than download. Random old ThinkPad uh, Wi-Fi card, which everyone knows isn't great, was doubling it. It's still not great because it is plugged into a wall extender, but we should be better on the networking right now. So hopefully less stutters on the stream as we go through these videos and hopefully it can stay up at the better quality uh, video for you. Super nice. I love that little movement. He's just got that perfect right at the end with the... Because those ramps are very steep unlike sort of normal slick ramps where you just go straight up and off them. Those ones are so steep that you, I think you have to take them sideways, not even just to go faster, but just to make it, you know, going straight up is just gonna send you without enough distance quite a lot of the time. But it's just a beautiful last second redirection of movement to not quite go so high, which is madness. Now into the purple section. This is slick, so each of these little pads is slick doing that to get the perfect speed to hit these tiny little uh, landings and to continue. They bump straight into the finish. Oh, 
so it, it like these these it gets harder and harder as you go through these are some incredibly hard sections of this map just absolutely epic gaps Really nice. Yeah, again, I just do not know what to say. Incredible run, Banano. Absolutely monster run. I believe you have to go high on that last one, like I was saying, you don't want to go high. I believe you have to, because the higher you go, the more speed you get out of it. And you can see you need all of the speed you can get to reach that finish line. Absolutely insane. Player of the month, effectively, for me. For sure, Banano this month. Um, I guess i got to tie it between Source and Banano, realistically. Incredible run from Source uh, to get all those world records this month. And here's a KZ map, which is something that I've been looking at um, with quite a lot of intent. I'll probably end up doing a bit of KZ in the future. Myself. once Probably once Momentum mods out, because I can't bother to install Counter-Strike 1.6 and figure out how that works. For some reason, these these sort of textures, I think they were used. There's a Russian um, tank game that I played as a kid called Tanky Online. And I'm pretty sure they used some of these textures because they look the same as a lot of Source KZ maps. Um, and B-Hop maps and stuff like that. This is a mint run from Vert. Really, really smooth. But it's an interesting map because the way Vert has to do it, there's some sections that Vert can get through without slowing down because of double jumps and stuff like that. And some sections where, actually, in the 1.6 rugs, so that is a genuine map and I can't remember what it is, but we did find the video for it. And there's some sections in that where Vert does less. Moving, um, less less fluid. Instead, instead, insane. That's insane. From uh, Dewey. Source. We are after that vert run. That um, that vert run and the banana run are ones that I put into the list to definitely watch. And now. I was then going to put some specific source runs, but I couldn't pick. I couldn't pick, and it just so happens that there are that many between the end of last month's uh, bonus records and the start of this month, and of course almost half the records. There are so many source records, but I didn't need to. <laughs> We're going to be watching a lot of source this month. A little bit of Shiro. Nice Shiro strafing. Rare to see a Shiro strafe record. But a straight slick record, that's not exactly a rarity. And especially with something as insane as that. Does it even strafe it into the finish? Those things, it's not worth it. It's not worth strafing it into the finish. Well, quite a few records um, this month. Getting some really good times.
just yeah it's been some really good times set the last few months and I can only imagine that this uh, Cool Mini 1 followed by Cool Mini 2 was a genuine back to back run um, from the server just re uh, relaxed running picks random maps but uh, respect the grind RTG picks the, s the next alphabetical map unless somebody votes uh, a different map so there is a chance that that cool uh, mini one and then mini two were literal back-to-back -back records on RTG clean strafe in here from source Absolutely beasting it. It's been great the amount of people continuing after XCWC and the people coming in because of all of the competition and from different games. And it feels like uh, Xenotics ended up with basically more players from other games than from our own. Vert having a crack at one of the sections of Just Jump. But yeah, it's, it feels like there's there's more defraggers. I, I did wonder it when I... Because I started playing Xenotic from the shooter side of things. And I wondered why I don't know any of the defraggers. Because I thought, oh, you play defrag as a relaxing mode in between playing. The same way that Counter-Strike players play, source, uh, play Surf and B-Hop. It's just something to do in between games while you're waiting for your mates to get on. Um, but I think, especially now, even more now, more of the players are coming from other games into Xenotic than are coming from Xenotic shooting into defrag. Which is cool. It's something. Uh, I was about to say YouTube loading times, not the fault of uh, of my internet. Provably, the fault of YouTube being asses about ad blockers and such. Beautiful, beautiful record. Quite a few bias records this month. Player I very rarely see or interact with. I should probably ask questions to some of the players that I don't really talk to or know. I mean, Source, of course, to, to get as many world records as Source has on this month you got to be on quite a lot, so I bump into Source a fair bit. The, guy, the guy's just mad, uh, quite frankly. There's there's not much more to it than that. I don't think he actually knows what he's doing. He's just doing it. That's, that's the vibe I get off of him. He doesn't quite actually know what he's doing. But there's quite a few other players that I don't really talk to that much. And probably should do. Nicely done. Amino. Been incre- Oh my god, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Incredible HP player. Some incredible runs from Amino. Oh, that was really nice use of that uh, 
that landing ramp there. Wow. So clean. I mean, I know it's slick, but it ain't got to be that slick. A little bit of a tricky map here. Absolutely incredible how they do that. These players. Picking up the rocket launcher and shooting it as soon as... I'm sure that they're jumping over and only start shooting... Oh, we've already seen this record. Uh, duplicated that one mistake. Yeah, I'm sure they're shooting as soon as they see... As soon as it's picked up and that there'll be times where it just doesn't doesn't fire. I've seen this record as well. That was the wrong button. We'll just watch this record. <laughs> there we go. Oh well, we've seen this one. I might have messed up my uh Putting everything together. We've seen this one. I'm definitely further in the video, aren't I? Yeah. I have seen that one. Apparently, either these got duplicated. Just vanilla. There we go. There we go. So they either got duplicated by me accidentally or double uploaded. It can happen. It can happen. A is ridiculous when they come out of there. I I can't get this map correct. But when you come out and you get slick and haste. Just like vroom. This map is very technical at the start. That start is genuinely really technical. This bit's pretty tech. That's ridiculous. And that's not. That's more technical than I was expecting. Really, really, really nice there. Pillars. This was one of those maps that. Dragged out, people going for it, but it's just so beautiful to watch Vert do this. His movement's so smooth. There we go, there's the slaps. It's just so, so smooth. This is, I said this uh, the other day, is that, I'm only half joking about this. This is my proof that Defrag is better than Source and B-Hop and the CSGO type half life -y type mu movement. Because look how smooth the pillars are. This sort of thing, you wouldn't be able to see what was going on in uh, B-Hop. You also probably wouldn't be able to take a shortcut like that, but, you know. A beautiful sub one minute time there from Vert. Absolutely beautiful. And just as we get an Astu record, Astu's taken a third place on uh, Mr. Zakra 24. That bit is so difficult. It seems no matter what spa uh, what pace you're on, you will just eat that up ramp. So really nice spacing to make it. Not not eat it. This map's insane. You can think you're on a good run and you're just not. 
but that was a good run. Staying high there. Didn't think that was the route, but wow. That's commitment. That's that's knowing your route and committing to it, that is. There's no doubt that Source knows his route and he's going for it. Pre planned Pre planned route and it's just the execution that needs to be done. That's all. Not fussed by how far he is behind. Probably a different route that he took. A little wall bonk to get the absolute perfect speed through there. And there we go. Smash another world record. Add another one to the tally that the guy's got. Something you'll notice is the um, waypoints. A lot of, lot of use of waypoints recently. You can drop waypoints down and then you know where to go. You can always see them through walls, but for the most part, uh, people use them like to know to go up to the top and to follow that. As you just come round the corner, like we saw on that last record from Astu, you're just coming round the corner and you can see the waypoint through the wall to know where to aim for after the corner and it's really really clever um, quite often you'll see two of them on pre-run type starts that are quite difficult to know where the where the start line actually is so there'll be two of them just marking where the start line is so you can get as far back and get as much of a pre-run as possible the tech's evolving the tech really is evolving Oh, this track. I've got a good time on this track, actually. There's some random bits of slick hidden in certain sections that you can't really ever use. Oh, that is sick. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. They need to put this into the Esports Olympics. I do actually think that speedrunning should, um, of some sort, should be added to the... What? Oh, okay, sir, what was that? That's mental. So we're up this ramp beautiful to get less hit and then you round here and you can't make it so he just keeps the gas on and surfs and s w surfing in this game is crap quite frankly absolutely mad there absolutely mad monday off it is indeed monday today I like this map. When you get it right, it just feels right. Although it's very difficult to get right and have it feel right. God, it's just so smooth. Again, I must stress how difficult all of these runs actually really truly are. Okay. These aren't easy to get. 
They may look it by how these guys are hitting them, but they are really, really not easy to get records. And some of these maps, I mean, they're not actually easy to finish in the first place. Oh, that's mad, using the surf to gain speed there. He's got everything optimised, there's a reason he's your current champion. There is a reason that Source is your current champion. I think with Castle Strafe we are now into the first record of uh, of actual June. There was a fair backlog from last month. It happens. Shouldn't happen this month. We've got pretty good run, so next month should be quite quite contained. This one is yeah cave one, so that's also in there. A mad record of all oh, those bricks aren't uh, aren't solid. Actually, I want to retract my previous statement about wanting speedrunning to be added to the Olympics. You know they'd only add uh, Minecraft or something. Whatever they picked, it would be something that either doesn't work as a speed game or, like Minecraft, has awful RNG type runs and can't really be done in a no reset way that's fair. Although it would be interesting to have a, a a filtered seed race, so both players got the same seed that was known to be playable. You know, it'd be scout been scouted out prior. Neither player knew it prior to the event, but that could be quite cool to see for Minecraft. But seeing a defrag World Cup type thing happen. That would be fantastic. Twenty minutes to set the fastest time you can. Last time we saw this map, I believe it was Woe who was taking the record. And it was quite an incredible run. Um, that that just looked easy. Woe's run looked diff 
Whoa, bloody hell, I forgot about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, that record's, um, you just kind of gain speed, gain speed, gain speed, and then go into the finish. And hit the start and the finish at the same time because of a glitch. Madness. This is going to have some big jumps in it. There are some... On Earth, that was insane. Super tight and controlled round there to land on the sideboard. That's a complete. What on Earth? That's a completely different route to the routes we've seen before on this map. That's incredible. It's great as well to see that sort of route evolve um, evolving, because that's. The sort of route that only works if you're going fast. That does mean, of course, that um, if you or I want to give it a go, we almost certainly can't because only true pros will be able to pull off that sort of route. But yeah, insane. This map is just confusing. And you can very easily miss that finish. It's a very small box, that finish line. Very small. Beautiful there from Asdu. GPL Quickie 2 up next, I think. And the over the head flick from Nero. How we have missed it. Still being decided whether that uh, over the head flick should be considered a bannable offence or not, but. mostly being considered as no. I believe this is a retake of last month. Where 5e had the record, then it was taken by Amino, and now retaken by 5e. Super good record. This map's really difficult to find your spacing on. I remember getting a really not, a record I'm really happy with on that map, but I bet I, it's one of those I bet I could go back now and just destroy it. I've been finding a few maps recently where I've just gone in and gone, when did I set a record on this? Look up the date and it's like three years ago and just go and crack it instantly. So, at least I know I'm improving. At least I do feel like I'm improving when that happens. This map is just uh, how good you pre-run and how little how little uh, speed can you lose when you enter the, enter the wall. And how close to 99 can you hold it. All the way down. There's just a train, Jesus. So, let's highlight all these source records that we're currently watching. Bertrix LG, Bertrix Go, four rounds. We're now on booty shorts, and next up should be Indermeth. 
mad finish. Um, Midnight by a Trix LG was uploaded. Hour and 45 minutes later, Biotrix Go. Midnight um, UTC, so sources from America. The US. US of I. And so, yeah, time zones and all that. But midnight, hour and 45 minutes later, then 4 o'clock, you get 4 and then 45 minutes later, you get booty shorts. These times upload every 15 minutes. After the map has finished, not after the record was set. So I'm going to say that Biotrix LG was set, then Biotrix Go was set in the next 90 minute session on RTG. I haven't seen this one. It's another Vino map, which is Minecraft parkour type. Whoa. I assume there's a bit of trickery going on around. Yeah, I think there's a bit of trickery going on around we can skip a lot more in this and there's checkpoints that we can't see that are the reason he's been bobbing around to different places. But in Minecraft you'd actually have to do the entire thing. But yeah, an hour and 45 minutes, or an hour and a half after... No, not even an hour and a half, half an hour after booty shorts in Demeth. So in a five hour session, five records. Absolutely mad. Really nice there for Amino though. Cracking out that record. Two. I believe this map might be... Um, yeah, it's definitely hardcore parkour, I was going to say, is it HP or regular, but the distance. Oh, the, not the distance, but the time. Three hour, three minutes. Three hours? Jesus, I'm broken today. I've got no idea what time is. It is incredible the speed that they gain from going up the walls. Absolutely beautiful. So far just lovely. Oh, triple stack in it. Absolutely mad. Cheeky little bit of parkour and some difficult grates. You want to slick down there and you want to slick up here. But unfortunately, as you can see there, immediate death stops. Um, the steeper it is, the more chance of a slick bug. They're not the same. <laughs> not sure what went on there. They're not the same spaced apart. Those don't appear to be. So it's not possible to just go left, right, left, right, and get the timing. Oh, this is the really difficult one. It's an overbouncing Quake Three, but you have to get it absolutely spot on in um, in Xenotic and it can break you if you only just make it over the top but your legs don't quite make it up you'll have the weapons taken away from you and no chance to restart but of course the world record's not going to fail like that
if you're watching this and you're new to the game, uh, check out the XDF guide posted on my channel. Uh, it will be linked below. And yeah. If you've made it this far, 45 minutes into the video, surely you want to learn how to play this game. This run, uh, or Kota Race 9 was taken at uh, 10 o'clock, then four hours later it took for this record. Losing his touch. Oh no, a day! Oh yeah, the next day. Was the only record set on that day, on the 5th. So, you know. Source holding down the fact that we've had a record every day. For quite a while now. It's been a long time since I've noticed one missing. As do holding us down on the 19th. Source again on the 22nd. Oh no, there's a couple of 20 seconds. Just two of them. Yeah, not missed any records yet. I mean, I'm taking back test 01. Must just be waiting for those other ones to land. Just listening for it, because you can hear them. The audio recordings on these are very quiet, but you can hear when you're in game. This map, BS Map 02, it is indeed. But that's just a mental run. Come on, load. There we go. Shame the conveyor belt doesn't actually move you faster. Here we go, what's the time save on this? Thir about 13 seconds? Going from a minute and three to the 50 seconds. 0.69, nice. Let's see where the improvements lie. I'm gonna say it's just the turnaround points. Yeah, that was quicker. And that, that was as well. There was no waiting, looking around. I'm going to say that's probably 10 seconds and then the other's just various optimizations.
Ooh, nice. That was a very nice finish. Who's gypped is... It, it feels like such a beginner map, but it's really, really not not an easy map to get your head around where you've got to go. And the spacing keeps changing until you get consistent, which I think is one of the biggest things for like easy beginner maps, is to not have too many things where the spacing changes and you've got to take a different line because the spacing changed. But to not have it be flat at the same time, because flat is a little bit boring and a little bit over the top of making sure the spacing doesn't change. I've got to teach them a little bit how to change the spacing up. This is a crazy map. All stock standard to here, and then that happens. And just absolutely beautiful. Thread the needle. And if you couldn't see where the finish was, you pretty much can't see where the finish is when you're actually in game either. Insane map here, Amino. Just a big hard climb map. Gosh, just so tight between where you've got to land. You can't even see a lot of the next places. He just knows where he's got to go. Oh, I'm perfect. But that that really does go to show how good these world records are. When you see that they're done perfectly, remember the amount of fails just like that one that you don't normally get to see because the fails have already been optimised out of it. This is the normal kind of experience, but... You know, we'll, we'll see this. It might take a month, it might take two, it might take... Could take a while. Could take years. But I would say within 10 improvements to this world record, you can see already how far behind he is. He must have had a another problem somewhere else to be continuing a run that far behind, but... This just looks like a super tricky map. You can't quite see where you're going. Yeah, it's clearly, clearly super difficult. Just to know to climb that spire as well. Got to get just the right type of double jump. Absolutely mental. Yeah, within 10 on this map, you'll see it done flawlessly. But for now, we get to witness the imperfections, the perfect imperfections that make up incredible runs like this. And you just... Just to make it a little bit more difficult, you've got to thread yourself down a hole. Incredible. Really well done there, Amino. Great record. And the thing with those sort of records, 
as with quite a lot of records but those sort of records they could stand for a very long time even though they're you know not great records they could stand for ages just on the basis of being uh being so difficult to complete the map it's really tough for the minute to know what what's a record that's going to stand for a long time and what's a record that's really just going to get beaten two days later now you've exposed it Because of course by beating that record, I mean I could have poked a bear. Or not. <sighs> Beautiful high wall thread in. Nicely done. Juhu, our lord and saviour who invented the uh, strafe bar that you see at the bottom of the screen, the green and purple bar. Added velocity pads, fixed a bunch of bugs in the code. Absolute legend. Absolute legend of defrag. And a great player. I want to see what route this takes because a few people were trying really hard to get a cut. And I'm not sure if it's possible, at least without absolutely bang on spacing. That's a nice space, and he's not going to get the down ramp there. Oh, he is going for it. Oh, yeah, it needs Bob on spacing to get across. Yeah, he just made it. Insane. The wall strafe to having to jump off of it because there's a pillar that's going to take you out. Absolutely mad. Source crossing three days, being the only person to set a record on the ninth. Just to put into perspective, and he basically is going through the list. Cool quick grass, cuddles three percent, cool speed three, cool knee, cool no flow, cool quick grass three, cool no way. Just and those are on different days. Some of those. That's across three days. That last record we just saw starts at uh, 8 o'clock on the 8th and he takes all the way till 5 in the morning on the 10th. And it's only bias that gets one record in before at midnight on the 11th. Source is back. That's the level of domination we were seeing this month from him. Absolute mad lad.
But I have seen Goblin log on a few times in July, so... We shall see what Goblin can do about Lord Source. And we do believe that Mac Mac is back Mac, but only temporarily. He set two records, broke a few leaderboards by having a new account, and then pissed off. So, you know, classic Mac Mac. Interesting roof. I don't think I've seen that before. Do not think I've seen that way around at all before. Incredible. Again, going to be interesting to see what route he takes. Played this map the other day. Quite tricky to figure out exactly where you're going to go with it. That could just happen that source is spacing. Wow. Okay, yeah, that does sort that. That's interesting. I did not think he'd take that route, but I suppose it takes... Yeah, it takes you all the way up. So, nice. And you can... Uh, Ignore the slowdown from the ramp by using because that bit uh, of ice was slick. There simply isn't much to say about it anymore. If we get a break from Source. For the record from Bias. Nice little break. On a very tricky Bug W1 map. No checkpoints. If you die, you completely reset. Most people are finishing this map in a minute and a half. And the strange thing is... It's, you know it's mental. You know it's entirely in your head. That it matters. That death is around every corner. Because... We all run these maps... And if we did fall off, even if it didn't actually take us out, we'd reset anyway. Even if it was a respawn. 
But it's not a long break from Source. If you were missing him, he's straight back. Probably on the next map rotation because it's only two hours later on the physical clock. And on the next map in the rotation on RTG. <sighs> really nice. Absolutely amazing. See if Source can make us say you what? On call you what? This run is what it felt like when I set my PB. But about two seconds slower. Woe's strafe style is super aggressive. Just really hard. Resource, look, it's so smooth. Even though he makes some incredible flicks to the other side when he's uh, swapping sides for strafe. Just absolutely incredible. Hey Des, we've had some mad records this month. And... Hey, what? <laughs> Love that finish. Uh, apparently the rocket launch are not needed. Yeah, some incredible records and an absolute overabundance of source yeah smooth slow is fast slow is smooth Sm slow is smooth and smooth is fast I think I'm having difficulty convincing myself quite of that as uh, all the people from my cycling group go out at ridiculous paces right from the start, hold them all the way to the end, and the only consolation I've got is the fact that I see their heart rate averages and they're absolutely ludicrously high for a cafe ride. Like, it's mad. Live fake world record. 
Yeah, it's the drugs. <laughs> it's not too bad, though. Because they all go around going, Oh, no, I'm really slow. And then, oh, no, we're going really slow today. And I'm like, I'm going as fast as I can. Oh, no, we're not. And then they overtake you. And it's like, oh, for God's sake. Oh shit. Where are we? Okay, of course not. Uh, yeah, cool. No, I think it's just that map. I think it's a CP sound added to that map. Trigger sound thing. I don't think it's new to that map or anything. I think it's just... Watch your eyes! Oh, never mind. It's not that one. done. <laughs> yeah. The re- why did I stop playing in volume? So I played in volume zero. I... There was a reason I stopped and I really can't remember what it was. It was... Like I used the hop noises for XCWC. And still played Volume Zero. Which was, you know, so the only people that heard it were <laughs> the stream. I don't think I'll be going back to the hop noises this year. It was XCWC tradition but at the same time it's like... Hilariously, they're actually better than the regular sounds in the shooting version of Xenotic because you can hear your opponents when they're going hop, hop, hop. It's a lot louder than the actual footsteps. Absolute source domination this month. If you haven't noticed. Hey, a random unknown Australian has just joined the server. I wonder who that could be. Nah, I don't think it is. Oh, Des, did you see Mac um, won the uh, Quake 3 Walk Up? New account as Rogue. Which just slightly give evidence. I need to download that demo, actually. Should download that demo and have a look at it.
Might download that and do a bonus at the end of the stream. Set it up and uh, you can see my horrible setup in Quake 3D frag. Beat Alan to doing the walk up thing. At least he's back at it because I was seriously considering taking on some walk ups and doing them. But. It's also, to be honest, it's slightly scary that he's taken that because it was a proper weapons map. Like, we know Mac is a, a hell of a strafer that can weapons, but this map was a full on, not full rockets, but a combo weapons map. Like, you have to be good with weapons. You can't just rely on your strafing ability. Ah, oh, now the map this month's piece of piss. It's kind of that middle ground of can I be even be bothered to grind it? I've missed all the good maps to play. Uh, there's been some really good maps recently and I've missed them playing walk-ups. Oh yeah, he can grind. He can definitely grind. But the thing is, we've never seen him play weapons maps that much because it was pretty much entirely a strafe map, uh, XUWC, that he did play. And... Being on the Australia side, it's difficult for him to come over and do anything other than strafe because of the lag but Quake 3 there are Australian servers he can play on and he can play single player which is probably what he did what most people do Uh, I don't know. It depends, because it depends what you've, what's been ground out and what's been pushed, of course. You know, you can... You can grind out anything. Just need a few people to push it to its absolute limits. That has got the wrong title on it. <laughs> that is not Quake Clive World Cup 2021 Round 3. Is it?
Yeah, no, it's not. Oh no, it is. Huh. Did not think that was that. It is, but the record numbers are all weird. Back on the HP strafe maps. Apologies for your lagging. I've mostly sorted out my lagging by plugging my internet into a different plug and gaining large amounts of internet speed. Let's have a look what the points and stuff are on this map then. While we wait. So it's been well over a year since the last record was set. Played every few months though this map. It's not an unplayed map. Huge amount of records got deleted. In fact, the world record got set through a deletion of basically everybody's world record. Everyone's record. And only 16 records survive. The Great Purging.
Sorry about the complete lack of content there. I phased out. My brain was blown up by uh, too many source records. And apparently the internet's just been blown up by too many source records as well, because uh, we're in low quality zone. Force it into 720. And then auto it. Usually works quite well. It's a shame we can't get... Because 72060 is more data than 108030. Is it? No, it isn't. Never mind. Actually, it might be. Depending on how the compression's gone, it could be. But I don't need 60 frames a second, because I'm not actually recording in 60 frames a second. I, it would be nice to be able to see the speed of the run. There we go. There's a large spate of bang on the uh, tenth here. There's four in a row. Bang on the tenth. 14.4, then this run 24.9, then 24.3 on the next one, 23.4 on the one after that. Absolutely bang on tenths of a second. Clearly fake. Only possible with Taz. Yeah, clearly. The hacks he's using just only go down to a tenth of a second, not a hundredth. Something that I realised um, while I was looking at these stats after you sent them to me this month, Des, the timing in-game only goes down to a tenth of a second. But despite only uploading every 15 minutes, the timing from uh, the from when the record is set goes down to what's that? Ten hundred thousand millionths of a second for some reason. The date and time of the record upload, despite the fact that it's all done every 15 minutes and it just kind of drifts about 10 to 15 seconds away from on the 15 minutes uh, as it kind of lags throughout the day I guess. But yeah, the upload up to a millionth of a second, <laughs> the game. Only to a hundredth. Bloody hell, that was a mad run. I also bought the correct oranges this week. I got peelable oranges rather than solid oranges. Don't 
they shall fuel me. That's such a difficult thing to do without losing much speed. This is a retake from... Uh, six... Where's the other one? Reached end of sheet. Never mind then, it's not a retake. I'm sure we saw this record, I was talking about it earlier. Must have been last month. Last month record rolling over into this month. Oh, that's brutal what's just happened on uh, RR. Fucking hell. As do you and Woe have been going for a record on Mr. Zakra24. Goblin joins. As do has been uh, got the record on the server, but point what, point 0.01 off of the real record. Uh, fake, fake record, no link. Goblins come in. Played for about 25 minutes. Just gone and broken the record by 0 0.08. Like, ah, oh, brutal. Brutal. So we, sh we shall see where Goblin places himself. Whether... Whether Goblin starts to push a little bit more, potentially. Like, where is Goblin sitting on our records table? Something I've noticed watching these records the last couple of months, whenever Cool turns up, Forever Last, always seems to be uh, a map that you'd assume is really well ground out. And very rarely one of his own, actually, unless it's only just been uploaded. But a map like that, so where is Gnoblin sitting? Goblin's down in 63rd, one place below Dez. However, in the last 30 days, he's made up 158 places. So I have a feeling Dez's days are severely numbered. What the fuck? Okay. Also, Goblin has just absolutely massacred the record on Miss Acre. I think the reason for Goblin's ability to take records up like that is that he hasn't actually quite fit that. Uh, to gain places is that he hasn't quite filled out his uh, record sheet so any record he's setting the full points are going straight into his tank pretty much I don't think we're going to have titties this month. I'm going to go out and say it. I've seen a few of my recommendeds recently at the end of videos. And I don't think we're going to have tits this month. If that disappoints you, you're going to have to stop watching now. I'm sorry.
it's probably going to be running history videos. Because for some reason YouTube loves to recommend at the end of videos, loves to recommend me videos I have already watched. Wait, who's a built-in strafing machine? I think you're on a, a severe delay. Okay, this map is bullshit. I don't know if I talked about it last month, but you're about to see JH get some slick on a patch of uh, blue. The ground's going to go blue just here, and JH is going to get some slick. That doesn't always happen. And we haven't yet worked out a reliable way to do it in a run. So you just have to keep going and going and going until you get lucky to get caught on the slick layer because there's some Z fighting stuff going on. It's consistent that if you've got slick and you print out detailed coordinates, you're slightly higher than if you don't have slick. It's on your end. <laughs> I do apologise for any crap quality uh, that comes up. Oh shit, I'm an idiot. No, I'm not. It's okay. I did press record. I thought I hadn't pressed record then. I thought we were going to have to get Twitch's... Uh, twi the Twitch VOD uploaded, which would be absolutely brutal. Yes, yeah, about 1 in 20 chance on that uh, that map. You're just absolutely racking it at a wall and hoping for the best completely. Or not a wall, but the floor. And just finding out that you hit the ground and don't go anywhere. It is consistently doable, however, um, landing right on the edge between the down ramp and the flat can consistently give it to you, but that's not reliable in a run. It's only reliable while you stood next to it. But it does at least mean it's technically not RNG and that deterministic would work. Which is kind of a good thing. Oh, Dubai and Goblin going for a fight. So between this uh, Mr. Headshot fourth run here that we're seeing. Oh, he does use the rock. So he uses the rocket on this run. He didn't last time after pick actually picking it up last time. Uh, before that was a run from the day before of Dubai source getting cool soup and now we're not going to see Goblin take cool soup because Goblin beats it less than a day later so these records have to stay for 24 hours which means we sometimes miss them when people decide to take a record back before 24 hours is up and Goblin has taken his own record mad lad But this is the man that's on an absolute tear up the rankings right now. If he puts the full time in to get up the rankings, he'll be in the top 20 by the end of this month, I should think. If he works on it. Wouldn't even have to specifically choose the right maps to play, just have to send it. Any map, get him enough points to get him into the top 20, I should think.
This map is indeed stupid. I was grinding out this map either last night or the night before. It's a really, really fun map, this. Really difficult. But really fun. Flows super nicely. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Just ludicrously fast there, Goblin. Absolute madman. Goblin, for those who weren't around for it or can't remember, the XDWC 2023 champion. So your current world champion playing here. And an absolute god at Slick. What? What happened? There's a Des in the chat that's on a large delay. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh! Wow. Okay, yeah. I'm sure I've seen that before, but I've got short-term memory loss, and... Uh, I see a lot of these records. I see all of them. Yeah, that was just absolutely mad. That whole that whole run, like I, without even knowing specifically which bit you're talking about, that whole new day diaster haste was mad. He's taken Pawn Star slopping. Never mind. <laughs> Who's Nick Pawn Star slopping that it's not in the run? Okay. Pawnstar Sloppin should be in there. He has taken it, but it's not got a video apparently uh, for Goblin's Pawnstar Sloppin run. All the runs around it and runs after it are in the in the video, but some runs do get missed from time to time off of the auto recording and the uploading process. But that's fine. So where you should record local demos, just in case. And a late reminder into the video that local demos uh, can be sent over to me if you want to. If you are particularly proud of a run or it's got something interesting to it. If it's worth showing, I'll show it even if it's not a world record. Okay, we're skipping this one. Insane record. But of course, we watched it at the start, so... If you want to watch it again, go back. Or if you don't want me talking over it, the link in the description. There is a link in the description to... Um, to the playlist that I use for this. Now, let's see. Does he just go for the same strat here? So this is Nude ADR, same map we had before, but this time without the haste, which means you go quite a bit slower. Can't remember the exact number or percentage or anything. 
But so far, it is exactly the same strat. He's not going for that run. Yeah. So that's that's the route that I take for the re for the haste version of this map. And I don't make it up that jump that he's just made it up. I double hit on the haste version of that map. To put into perspective how insane this guy is. What on earth? Is this just a case of hoping you hold on to the stairs as they move left and right and randomly exit left and right? Insane run there from Banano. And that's it. No boobs at the end, but a dog and some TF2. A record for next month, probably. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to everyone. Congratulations to Source Player of the Month. Shared with Banano for some incredible records. Especially on that Just Jump. And... Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to pause the recording. We're going to resume with the Mac Max Quake 3 run. Just for a cheeky one at the end of this. Okay, so here we are back in, well, into Quake 3 for the first time in a Xenotic series. Here we are, Max Run, or who we believe to be Max Run. Incredibly difficult map, you pick up the plasma here, do a bit of PGB. Holy shit. So I was, it took me multiple attempts to climb these walls and I was using all of the weapons that I had. So here, I wasn't using any of this because I needed it to get up. And then it took me three, four, five attempts to get up there. And then, yeah, I had to give it another go to get all the way up the top. Absolutely incredible run there from Mac. So, phenomenal. Thank you very much for watching. Congratulations to everyone who played. We'll see you next month with some more records. Ta-ra.